ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Stregi, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's going to take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge, so fuck you. Over. Did you miss me? I guess not. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Delusions of Grandeur. It's been a while. Um, kind of been trying to get some of my room in order before uh, before I went back to some reviews, um, and uh, life just kind of caught up to me. So, uh, so bear with me. Um, I just recently watched a movie from 2020. Um, it was directed by Dave Wilson. Uh, 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 Wilson. Um, it appears to be his first directorial de uh, debut um, and it just so happens to be a superhero movie um, apparently uh, Vin Diesel uh, plays a character by the name of Ray Garrison and he is a um, a soldier in the very beginning and uh, what happens is he dies um, and is brought back with uh, superhero powers uh, powered by millions and gazillions and trillions of uh, nanobite technology, um, which apparently makes him uh, unkillable, unstoppable, and evidently they're able to recharge at a, a regenerative rate of some uh, so, uh, sort. And we have... Um, interesting cast of, uh, of people uh, people here um, we have uh, Elsa Gonzalez playing KT um, where apparently she's got some powers of, of, of sorts too um, evidently um, Sam H uh, Huffin uh, Toby Cabell um, Tulula Riley Lamorne Morris Guy Pierce um, some of the, uh, these uh, uh, characters are playing Jimmy uh, 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 Jimmy Dalton, Martin Axe, Gina Garrison, Wil uh, Wilford uh, uh, Wiggins, and uh, Dr. Emil Harting. Now, apparently Dr. Emil Harting, played by Guy Pierce, is tremendously trying to um, <laughs> use his team of nanobite superheroes to kill off everybody that has anything to do with putting all of these uh, superhero uh, team members together. And some of these team members seem to have an evil bone in their body. And uh, some of them uh, are on the outs of, uh, not really, you know, being part of the team, um, uh, part of being murderers, 
so to speak. So to speak. And in the very beginning, we we believe that um, Vin Diesel's character Ray is in fact reliving the nightmare of his death, and he really believes that his wife um, has in fact been killed um, by these nefarious gang members. And um, so when he realizes that it's just that Dr. Emil Harding is actually changing elements of what he thinks is real, um, one of the team members on the other side, uh, uh, side who just so happens to be <laughs> apparently the person who evidently uh, he is someone who created some of the code. In fact, probably 89% of the code that was used in the nanobite technology uh, was actually part of uh, his code, at least the security code of uh, uh, of much of uh, what what uh, what his team supposedly does. I thought this movie was pretty cool. Um, I think Vin Diesel definitely brought that dark edge that, uh, that he uh, always uh, uh, brings. I wasn't so sure with The Last Witch Hunter. It, it seemed like it uh, that was an out-of-place role for him, whereas this one, um, okay, maybe I, I didn't exactly entirely see him as a military man per, uh, per se, but I can definitely see uh, see him as this beasted up um, uh, super power uh, power road revenge seeking um, superhero kind of like a vigilante in a sense and I uh, I could I could see how the, uh, there could be more films with this uh, uh, particular um, uh, superhero started franchise because um, Dave Wilson set this up for a sequel obviously and uh, I thought that the effects on this film were spectacular um, so th there were some pros and cons with this film I thought that th that it was a well put to uh, together f uh, film and the fact that um, Dave Wilson um, he is uh, a special effects um, person behind uh, some of the superhero uh, film um, the films that are out there. Um, just wanted to uh, put that out there. He um, put the effects behind, I believe, the Avengers. Um, and Let's see. Um, what else? Ah, um, Star Wars: The Force. Uh, 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 he puts uh, together some of the uh, video game um, uh, stuff for Star Wars: The Old Republic, a video game a, a game called The Division. Um, See Avengers: Age of Ultron. He was a creative supervisor for Blair Studio. Um, he was uh, some of the he was a cinematic director for uh, Blur Studios with El the Elder Scrolls Online. Um, he was somewhat behind Bio uh, Bioshock uh, I Infinite as a cinematic director. Um, Guardians of Middle Earth, uh, Plant uh, Side, Star Wars: The Force Unleashed Two. The video game Mass Effect uh, uh, 2, um, cinematic director, uh, Halo Wars, a cinematic director, um, Company of, uh, of Heroes, Go for Broke. Uh, he was a sh uh, uh, on, as a lighting artist and a modeler uh, 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 for that short film, Warhammer 40,000, uh, uh, Dawn of War video game, cinematic uh, CG supervisor. For Blur Studios and Rockfish, he did a uh, short film with that. But um, uh, other than that, um, 
he did a video uh, documentary with David Bo uh, Bo uh, Bowie called Glass Spider. He was a camera operator. So this is actually his first <coughs> film, um, per, uh, uh, per se. And I think he uh, delivered uh, on the f uh, film. I would like to see more from this director. I would like to see more from this uh, particular superhero. And I thought that um, um, Vin Diesel brought the role. Um, I would like to see, uh, uh, see where they take the, uh, take this and whether this was an original or part, uh, part of the DC or, or the Marvel Universe, I don't know. But the superhero genre, uh, 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 there's a level of um, action and um, uh, special effects that, uh, that many of these superhero film, the films are on. And I thought that this brought uh, uh, brought it. I loved the transformation, uh, 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 the fact that uh, his chest kind of glowed. Um, I liked the uh, the, the small um, whole. It's like if you put like Born Identity in in, in the mix of like a Daredevil kind of routine or something like that, you know. So, in any case. Hopefully you enjoyed my description of this film. Like and subscribe to my page if you have not. Definitely check the film out on your own. It is filmed from filmed in 2020. I do plan on owning the film when I come across a cheap enough copy. And uh, hopefully you just get a chance to check it out yourself. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the action involved. And, uh, uh, um, okay, so maybe the elevator scene... Uh, in the fil uh, film, it, it may look kind of unreal, uh, but um, I can look past that and uh, just enjoy the film for uh, for what it is. There are some scenes that look kind of uh, kind of. I mean, <laughs> if you're talking about, about uh, uh, the uh, the level of filmmaking of the Towering Inferno versus this uh, scene, I would go for Towering Inferno. Uh, because that looks more real. But that being said, this is a uh, 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 a fiction, so I can I can go along with it. Um, so in any case, thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. Appreciate your time spent here on my page. Definitely check out some of my other reviews. Thank you so much. Enjoy. You were good, kid. Real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?